Guys. In this video, we are going to test the best rock climbing shoes for kids you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time, and I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer. So you can easily verify this best rock climbing shoes for kids for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice the Venga went through a complete redesign and is back with a whole new set of strengths and weaknesses. A new closure system now utilizes a single pull velcro tab that tensions everything up, including the heel strap. Any excess strap can also be pulled out of the heel through double D rings. The old synthetic suede uppers are a thing of the past and now they use an antimicrobial mesh upper that both keeps the feet cool and odor free. The new asymmetric shape has a more tapered toe box, allowing for more precise footwork and better edging and pocket climbing ability. The track SARS rubber has good friction and the VTR RAN beefs up the durability in the toe zone that so often gets abused by kids with poor footwork. The new mesh uppers are great at keeping the feet cool and dry, but the durability is definitely called into question, especially for outdoor climbers who frequent areas with sharp cracks or abrasive rock. Evolve also dropped the full VTR 3D rand, and the new VTR rand doesn't have quite as much coverage as before, especially around the heel. While the shoe still comes out on top, we feel the overall quality was better on the previous version of the shoes, while the performance stays roughly the same. At number 2 designed with help from Ashima Shireishi, one of the top young women climbers, the Evolve Ashima is a downturned lace-up that can crush steep roots. The semi-symmetric profile has given great performance while at the same time, keeping the foot in a healthier, more natural position than many other aggressive shoes. The arch wing midsole has great performance on any angle terrain, and the VTR, variable thickness rand, provides great coverage for protection and durability, especially in high impact areas. We love that it has 4.2mm of Trax SAS rubber for longer life but still maintains great sensitivity for feeling their way up technical routes. The rubber has excellent friction but is also durable and holds up well to extensive edging, which it does with style due to the chiseled downturn toe box. These shoes are great for most climbing types, especially the most technical in nature, but the lace-up uppers take some time to take off and put on, which could encourage kids to leave them on for long periods of time. The price is also higher than many other kids' climbing shoes, but being that this shoe is designed for the hard climbing youth, when compared to aggressive adult shoes, the price is actually pretty good. At number 3 but Aura has built a shoe with the perfect balance of comfort, performance, and price for their all-around kids' shoe, the Brava. It's true, this shoe isn't going to be the right option for serious kid crushers, but for the casual climber or beginner who are out to enjoy themselves, this shoe rocks. The soft synthetic suede upper, with its wide hook and loop opening, has an excellent feel and hugs the foot better than the other shoes in our test, keeping the foot nice and secure. The heel strap helps to fine-tune the fit further, and the cushioned midsole helps to keep kids comfortable for when they refuse to take their shoes off between burns. While these shoes may rock for beginners and casual climbers, the kids who start out climbing mom and dad may start wishing they had more precision in the toes for more technical or steeper roots and boulders. Due to the soft midsole and upturned toes, kids will have a harder time standing on small holds than with a few of the other award winners in our test. At number 4 the Lane Sportiva Maverink is a performance-driven slipper made for kids with growing feet. While most adult performance shoes have a dramatic downturn and a super tight, constricting toe box, the Maverink purposefully kept things more comfortable to offer kids, and small-footed women, a more healthy option. The P3 platform keeps the downturn shape but is under less tension than its grown-up counterparts, and the front of the shoe remains mostly flat. No edge technology adds sensitivity and, ironically, edging performance, allowing the toes to get close and feel those tiny holes. The leather and rubber wrapped heel pocket does an excellent job heel hooking but will take some getting used to for kids new to the concept. Because the P3 rand wraps over the heel pocket in a high place, it can bother the Achilles tendon. Overall, this shoe is not only comfortable and forgiving but also a secret weapon of choice for kids looking to send their projects. At number 5 the Lane Sportiva Grip It is an innovative shoe made in Italy that is specifically designed for comfort and foot health. While most kids' shoes have a somewhat constricting foot box, the Grip It has a super wide rounded last that allows the foot to spread out. 
the no-edge technology and a thin friction RS outsole puts the toes right up against the end of the shoe for incredible sensitivity, and the soft synthetic upper with an easy-to-use hook and loop strap make getting in and out simple for kids. The grip it doesn't make the best shoe for hard terrain. The soft and wide design might be nice for comfort, but once you stick that foot into a crack, or a small edge, comfort goes out the window. There just isn't enough protection, support or friction to do so very easily. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.